Hello everyone. So today we will see four lesson plans in one single video. And all the lesson plans will be from the same chapter, Electric Current and its Effect, which is from class 7th NCERT textbook. So here's the concept map of our first lesson plan. After the concept map, we will write the usual details like date, class, time and period. And on the other side, unit, subject, topic and subtopic if necessary. Then we move towards the learning points. Again, learning points are simple phrases that describe the important concepts that are going to be discussed in that particular lesson that day. And next we are going to talk about learning objectives. Again, learning objectives are always written in present tense. And the action verbs, the keywords in the learning objectives are always taken from Doom's taxonomy. Then comes the learning processes, sorry, learning resources that we are going to use in that particular lesson that day. Then the previous knowledge of the learners and then comes learning processes. Next, here's our first table. We start with engaging the learners. Once the learners are paying attention to the class, we move on to explore and explain. Explore and explain continues in the next page as well. And then we move on to extend. We are continuing with extend and finally we move on to evaluate and then our first lesson plan ends here with a proper home assignment. The first lesson plan is over and finally we are here with the second lesson plan from the same chapter electric current and its effect and here is the concept map. We are talk going to talk about the first effect of electric current, the heating effect. The concept map ends and we begin the writing the details like date, class, time, period and unit, subject, topic and subtopic before moving on to our learning points. After learning points, we write the learning objectives that are going to be fulfilled. Then learning resources and then previous knowledge and finally learning processes. This is a 5e lesson plan. So we begin our table with engage. Performing certain activities or simply telling a story or recalling the previous day's class is a good way to engage students in order to gain their attention. Now once the students are paying attention, we will move on to explore. In my lesson plans, I mentioned certain activities. You can write the same activities or you can help your learners to perform the same activities or you can choose your own. Now we move on to the next page. Among our five pages, phases, First is engage, then is explore, then comes explain and this is the third phase, explain. After explain, we move on to extend. And then finally, we move on to evaluate and then we end our lesson plan with a proper home assignment. So here, here ends the second lesson plan. And we are moving on to the third lesson plan from the same chapter, Electric Current and its Effect. And in this lesson plan, we are going to discuss the second major effect of electric current, that is the magnetic effect. Please take a screenshot or pause the video if necessary. So this was our concept map. After which we will write the usual details like date, class, time, period, unit, subject, topic and subtopic. Before moving on to the learning points. Then learning objectives. 
see all the learning objectives are always written in present tense we will never write that students will analyze students will demonstrate we will always write students they will analyze they will demonstrate okay you will never write will you will always write in present tense you will write students analyze students demonstrate then learning resources that we are going to use in that class that day and then previous knowledge and finally learning processes then we move on to our 5e lesson plan table First is engage and after engage we move on to explore. After explore we have explain. After explain we are having extend. Extend continues in the next page as well. And then is evaluation. And finally comes home assignment. So with that our third lesson plan ends. And we are here with our fourth lesson plan from the same chapter this is going to be the last lesson plan of this chapter so we start with concept map as usual and after concept map we again write the usual details like date class time period unit subject topic and subtopic then we have the learning points then learning objectives and then learning resources then previous knowledge and finally learning processes then we draw a table and we start with engage as this is a 5e lesson plan after the students are engaged and are paying attention to the class we move on to the next phase of our lesson plan that is explore or explain We continue with our explore and explain in the next page as well. And then we finally move on to extend. In the next page extend ends. And Finally, we move on to evaluate. After evaluation is done, we end the lesson plan with a proper home assignment. So these were the four lesson plans from the chapter Electric Current and its Effect Class 7. Thank you.